Hi, my name is Dr. Cohen, and this is the robot I've created, Ronnie. Today we face a challenge that is very complex to resolve. Our communications with artificial intelligence is limited as they're simply not native speakers of any natural language, other than ones and zeros, of course. Ha uh ha. -huh. Natural language processing can go in the field of computer science, linguistics, and artificial intelligence, explain interactions between computers and human natural language. One of the many challenges of NLP today is natural language understanding. Why is it so difficult to make robots understand what we want them to understand? Tell them, Ronnie. I don't know. Well, one of the problematic features of natural language is ambiguity, which has caused a lot of trouble for artificial intelligence. Specifically, it will explore five different types of ambiguity. Structural, lexical, pronoun, scope, and pragmatic. All right, Ronnie, let's try this out. Hit the man with the stick. Ah, not me, Ronnie! Oh, classic structural ambiguity. What Ronnie thought I meant was to hit the man holding the stick. Well, what I really meant was for Ronnie to hit the man using the stick. This happened because the prepositional phrase in this sentence is attached to the noun phrase, making this into one constituent. While on the other hand, the prepositional phrase is attached to the verb phrase here, making this into two separate constituents. This is a classic issue for AI because they don't know how to interpret the structure of the sentence, making it, providing two ambiguous interpretations. It's so great to have some company for dinner. Thanks to Dr. Cohen for creating you. It is very great to be able to have dinner. Oh, thank you very much. Wait, I completely forgot my wallet. Would you mind filling the bill? Of course I can. <laughs> I knew you'd do something silly. Let's see why. In my sentence, can you foot the bill? There are actually two different interpretations of the word foot. One is to pay, and one is to cover. In here, Ronnie did the wrong interpretation of covering the bill literally with his foot. Well, this usually happens in artificial intelligence, whereby the system is unable to identify the correct meaning of the word we're expressing. Damn it! You're such a worthless scientist! I'm so I can't sorry. count on you for anything! I'm so sorry, Dr. Cohen. It's not my fault. Ronnie, Dr. Cohen and his assistant are fighting again. Can you go comfort him? Of course I can. No! Ronnie, not Dr. Cohen, his assistant, the one who's crying. I don't know. Our robot friend is confused by something called pronoun ambiguity. Since the pronoun him is used, and both our subjects are male, an ambiguity arises. The ambiguity comes from the relationship between the antecedent and the pronoun. AI lacks the world knowledge and ability to reason that humans intrinsically have to be able to navigate these ambiguities. Hey Ronnie, I need to run an errand. Can you make sure that some person drinks every cup? Yes, of course I can. Ronnie, what are you doing? Drink, drink. I'm quenched. Ronnie, stop! I'm so sorry, Dr. Cohen. What are you doing? One person drinks every cup. That's not what I meant. The dose of robots is confused by something called scope ambiguity. The scope ambiguity is an ambiguity that occurs when two quantifiers, words like some, every, few, a lot, can take scope over each other in the meaning of a sentence. So, as we see in the first interpretation of the sentence, some takes scope over every, this is how the robot interpreted the sentence. So it means that one person needs to drink every cup. In the second interpretation, the one I meant, is um, every takes scope over some. So every cup needs to be drunk by someone, but not specifically one person. Um, so as we can see, the interpretation depends on which scope you look at the sentence. An easy way to fix this would be to say the first sentence as this person needs to drink every cup 
and to say the second second meaning as every cop needs to be drunk by a different person. I think the bomb is being controlled remotely, but I can fix it by hacking the mainframe. You can do that? Yes, of course. I think my laptop's in room 303. Can you see if it's there? Yes, of course. A few moments later. Your laptop was in room 303. You didn't bring it though? No, I was never asked to. You know what I meant when I asked him to see if it was in the other room, right? I mean, in this context, it seems pretty obvious that I meant for him to bring it here. However, for AI, it's not always that simple. This is an example of pragmatic ambiguity. It occurs when a, a robot like Ronnie has to start processing a user's intent and must put context over content. Now, when natural language is being processed, it becomes quite complex to be able to discern a user's true intent when it's being inputted in such an ambiguous way, as we saw earlier. Ronnie requires knowledge of the intent, the plans, and the goals in order to get a full understanding of what's going on. Oh no, we've run out of time! It is safe to say that language cannot exist without ambiguity. What those humans understand as truths is reliant on relative truths that arise from different groups of people within their specific cultural systems, attempting to answer their own questions and meet their needs for survival. There are no absolute truths, and that makes language very complicated. There is no computer capable of storing enough knowledge to process the accumulated knowledge of a human, not even me. Another way to say this is, language ambiguity is a blessing for you humans, such that it eliminates the possibility of a robocalypse. That's enough, Ronnie. Thanks for tuning in and learning about natural language processing for artificial intelligence. <laughs>